The JSE Limited is Africa's largest exchange by far with the largest market cap and deepest liquidity. Yep, been established for many moons, about 120 years when they started out a stock exchange between the chains down in central Johannesburg as the gold mining rush got going. Of course, this company listed on its own exchange and demutualized and so on and so forth back in 2006. So it's now a pretty solid player with big financial reserves and pretty solid cash flows as well. Market cap, 10.5 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 16.5, dividend yield of 3.2. As Paul has said, this is not your asset manager, no. but certainly it is essential to the yep. discussion that we're having today. They, maybe the most out of all of them, performance is tied to the level of the market. But of course, trade, the volume of trade is also, also applicable. Now, the JSC had a couple of tough years a few years ago. You look at the earnings, they were bouncing up and down, going sideways. They've had some technology issues. They've had to write off a lot of money on platforms. They've had to invest a massive amount of, they continue to invest a massive amount of money into platforms. But also similar to a couple of the companies we're talking about, last two years have been good. And it's not an outrageous PE. So quite frankly, if you believe in the market and it's going up, not a bad proxy for the market. Paul, that means you should mm. be steeped in <laughs> JSE shares because you believe mm. the market is going up. Well, look, they incorporated the bond exchange and Safex over the last couple of years. So that means they've got really the preeminent position. Look, it's sort of turnover driven, right? The technology issues Wayne referred to are real. The trading system, I think, is world class. The administration system for client accounts is a bit antiquated. But you put it all together, it's a credible operation. It delivers a great performance. The management team under Nicky Newton King, very highly regarded. I think they're going to continue to do well. There are competitive threats. Clearly, globally, exchanges are a bit of a tricky sector to invest in. Let's look at the share price performance here. And Wayne, mm. maybe you can weigh in on what you're seeing. Yeah, look, I mean, as I said, the last couple of years have actually been good, good for their earnings. And understand the business, same as an asset manager, very high fixed cost base. So if you can just get turnover and market growth over and above your fixed costs, you really do make a lot of money. Now, longer term, 10 years, I think they're threats to, to, to the market because a lot of companies are listed on here because of history where they came from. They don't actually have to be listed here. And I think that could alter over time as the shareholder base in South Africa decreases. But that's very long term. I don't think yeah, you must worry the, about the, that. The competition is going to come from the LSE and yeah, the from, from NSE. The, because the that's where the capital is available. The capital is not really available here. But that's very much a long term story. I like it. Today, I like hot, it. Or not, hot. hot or not? Hot? I like it. Paul, hot or not? Yeah, I'll give it the hot too. Uh, I think really as long as there is a big financial asset management industry in this country, people will want to trade in this currency with each other. So for me, still A double good. hot mm. for the JSE and Nicky Newton 